today another abandoned factory not too far from the Brad Mill. I'm here with uh, Panda from Panda Explores and our friend Alan is probably gonna die because we've already lost him <laughs> and uh, this place is just completely surrounded by the really old residential areas of Yarraville it's really awesome this is the first building so let's go check out some more You're here once and you're probably gonna die. Yeah, probably. Just to keep this up. Man, it's really hard to get the brightness in here. It just, just looks like something out of The Walking Dead in here. The awesome thing about this place is how you always just keep finding more and more stuff. I just found Alan, and he scared the living crap out of me. See, this is why you're gonna die, Alan. Well, you see, do you see the train going by? Let me get out there and get a shot of that train line. Excuse. That. It's bloody really hard to get the, the lighting right in here. You could come in these areas that are pitch black, and then you've got these areas with the lights beaming through. <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> I always get like slightly freaked out when I come to these places, even with people. And I just like keep hearing noises. I'm hearing like part of the building move.
this is just massive. When we found out about this place, I really didn't expect it to be this big. <laughs> it is huge. And it's all open and I just keep finding more of it. This floor below me is so sketchy, as you just saw Aaron walking straight across these beams. These look like there's some toilets here. I've just been real careful on this floor. Let's try to do a bit of a bit of a background check on what this place used to be, but I think it was, I think Panda said it was a wool factory, believe it or not. But uh, there's still more to be looked at, so let's keep going. I'll just say how old school some of this building is. It's crazy. Yeah. Absolute cesspool of shit. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, we've had a fair bit of rain here in the last couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, today's beautiful. The train line's just behind here. It's awesome. This is crazy, man. This giant hangar. As you can see, there's a couple of houses just behind us. That's just how residential this place is. And the Bradmill's only a couple of K from here. Um, a video I did a couple of weeks back. So, there is a lot in this area that is completely... It's kind of cool. Completely abandoned. Some people were just staring me down outside the fence, so I think they were just people who lived in the houses across the road. This place is massive, like that's Panda in front of me just there. It's kind of hard to put in perspective just how big this place actually is. We've been here for probably about 40 minutes now. I'm still finding new rooms to go in. I've still got all down there to search.
Nothing in there. Oh, that's the back side to the building room before. Yeah, yeah, I was up there before, of course. It's a pigeon! That's about all for today. Uh, don't forget uh, thumbs up and subscribe for more. It's uh, four days until I go to the US. So don't forget to subscribe, we've got a lot coming.